Hello and welcome back to this channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to explore Adobe Fresco. We'll try and paint this beautiful watercolor illustration using Adobe's or Fresco's live paint brushes. So let's just get started. So I have Adobe Fresco open on my iPad and I will go ahead and click on this small postcard, which is like a default setting that comes with Fresco. But if you don't have it, you can click on custom size and select six into 4.25 inches at 300 ppi let's click on that all right so we're gonna start ahead if you want you can make a sketch to start off with it but let's get adventurous and not actually do a sketch but if you want i will share the sketch in the description box below you can go ahead and once you have it on your ipad you can just click on this button right here and it actually shows you how to download it or bring it from your camera or you know or files or creative cloud and things like that so let me just go ahead and enable the touches so that you can see whenever I click on something. And also because I'm going to start recording the screen so that I can show it to you if things are not very clear after I've finished recording. Okay, so let's just start off. So first of all, with colors. So I have some colors which I've actually selected from my Adobe library. So if you don't know how to get these colors, you can actually go ahead and add these to your Illustrator or Photoshop and then you can get them here. But I will share all the hex codes so that you can go ahead and apply it to your colors as well. Uh, maybe I'll share it as a image so that you can import that image in here and you can press and hold to select that color. And it will just select that color and put it in your either fresco colors or recent colors and then you can see them all. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to go to my library and uh, I'm going to pick up some pinkish, reddish kind of a color. And let me just go into my brushes and I'm going to go into my live brushes here. And let's go to watercolor. And in this, I'll select watercolor wash flat. And now let's draw some raspberry shapes. So you don't have to be like, this is too thin. So let me just go ahead and increase this to maybe about 226 or something around that. And let's draw some strawberry or raspberry kind of shapes. It's okay if some of them are overlapping like this, it doesn't matter. And make sure you leave some white spaces like this because it kind of gives a very nice effect. I think that looks fine and now I'm just going to go ahead and click on this layer and click on dry layer because we are done with the color right now and now I'm going to go ahead and apply something called as mask so what mask does is it helps you create these unique things without having crossing the you know the outline for example now I want to draw something on this and I don't want it to go outside these raspberry lines so I'll just go back to the brushes but here in pixel brushes i'm going to go to dry media and select contact crayon it looks good that's why and i'll go to my colors and i'll take a little darker red you can also go ahead and drag this thing down here and now in here i'm going to click and click on mask layer contents so it's going to create something like this which looks um yeah weird but we're going to go ahead and turn it over here so that we are on this layer right now you shouldn't be on the mask layer but you should basically be on this layer so in here you can see reveal and hide make sure it's clicked on reveal and then go to this layer and now we are going to go ahead and make some lines like this make sure your setting is set to something around 80s or 70s it should be fine and by the way you can always use your two finger tap to undo your strokes so let's go ahead and draw something like this I'm going to disable the touch. So now we see if I, even if I try to go outside, it makes sure that I stay within the lines. And make sure you don't draw the entire thing. Leave some gaps and things like that so that it looks a bit nicer. And you don't have to draw the lines uniformly. You can have thin, thick, doesn't matter. Okay, I think that should be enough. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on a new layer. And now we're gonna go ahead and draw some or paint some leaves. 
So basically what we're going to do is change our color. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a little darker green. If you don't have one, you can always turn this around here and try to pick whatever green you want. I think I'm going to go with uh, something a little bluish and darkish and stuff like that. And I'll go to my watercolor painting brushes again and click on watercolor wash flat. And let's check at the size. This is too big. So let's bring this down to about 84. Should be okay. A little bit bigger. Okay, this should look fine. So let's go ahead and draw some leaves right now. So a basic thing is you need to fill in these white gaps a little bit, but don't fill it too much because then, I mean, it doesn't look good. So your leaf is basically like this. So don't worry, we are, we are on a different layer, so it's going to be fine. And let's make some here as well. You can leave some white blanks as well. It doesn't matter. There's one good thing about painting with watercolor brushes in fresco instead of actually using a paintbrush and paint. It doesn't dry until you decide it's dry. So you can actually do this slowly and then, you know, uh, it's still gonna be all right. But with real watercolors, you have to work a little quick because it might dry off. here that looks good so i'm just going to go ahead and select a little darker green you can actually go ahead and click and drag this down a bit so it's a little darker and now i'll try to add a little dark things to the bottom of every green like this So by the way, now if you feel like you might go outside and damage the leaf, you can just go ahead and click on this, click on make mask layer contents, and then go back here. And now if you try to draw, it won't go anywhere, you know, but make sure you're on the right brush because sometimes it changes the brush. I'm just going to make this a little more dark. Okay, so our layer is ready. We can actually go ahead and dry this. Let's dry layer. And now since it has a mask already, we can go ahead and actually apply our detailing on it. So let's go to the color and pick something lighter, but darker than this one. Let me just go ahead and check. Yeah, this looks okay, but a little more darker, I guess. This looks fine. So let's go ahead and draw our details. That is, we can draw a line and then try to make it something like this. And don't worry about going outside this line because you already have it masked, so it's going to work out fine. Just be aware of the things which is right next to the leaf because then you might draw it on that leaf as well. It's up to you like how you decorate your leaf. It really does not matter as long as you add some lines like this because if you leave just the watercolor, then it's gonna be pretty boring. Okay, so our leaves layer is ready. And now it's time to add some elements and make it much more nicer in the background. But before that, we need to add some stocks to this one. And I'm going to use this dark color that I have. And let me go here and click on plus so that we can create a new layer. So the key is to have everything on a new layer. So that will be very easy for you to decide what you want to do with that later. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and probably take some like this and try to... This is actually pretty dark, you know. Uh, maybe we should go ahead and uh, go back to our watercolor thing but in here i'm going to select watercolor round detail let's see how this behaves oh this is actually pretty good because this is not so dark but it's dark enough and it also gives you this watercolor effect that is perfect And 
And now let's go ahead and make one more layer. We can actually move this, just click on this and drag this all the way down. And now it brings it here. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and uh, select the same pink again. You don't have to go back to your color palette to do that. What you can do is you can just click and hold and then it's going to select whatever color you want and then that's how you get it. But I'm going to make it a bit lighter because we want to put it in the background and not highlight it. And make sure you go to your watercolor brushes and then we'll select watercolor wash soft. Not sure why it wasn't selected. Okay, and then we'll make some a round or you know like raspberry shapes in the background you can make this pink a little darker as well if that's what you want but i just wanted something just like very subtle in the background and that should be okay now let's click on new layer and go to your green and uh, let's select something which is a little lighter than what we have and let's go ahead okay and let's make some leaves as well with that. You can actually reduce the size of this and uh, probably make some leaves like this. Make sure you're on a different layer. Otherwise, this green will go mix with pink and that is not what we want. And you can fill in some of these places and something like this. Okay, that looks pretty good actually, but we need to move things around a little bit now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this layer and bring it all the way. You can also keep them on this one if you want. Okay, so I think our illustration is almost ready. But if you want, like if you feel like, oh, I need some more leaves, like, you know, behind the raspberries or something like that, you can actually go ahead and do that. There is something that you could do that is you can go to lasso tool. Just click on the lasso tool and we're going to go ahead and carefully select this like this and now this is going to open up and make sure that you have selected selection overlay you could do marching ants i guess but i don't know this is the way i know to do this and anyway when you do that let's click on a new layer and in here you just go back to your old layer so this is highlighted click on these three dots here and then you can say either duplicate selection cut selection or you can use any of these here i'm just going to say cut selection and i'll go to my new layer here go here and then i'll say paste selection now this is on a completely different layer so you could go ahead drag this i have to click on done first and now i can go ahead and drag this and put this behind the raspberries and it's as easy as that so you could go ahead and do a lot of things like that okay so that's as simple as that you can move things around and if you want it to be much more dramatic you can go ahead and i'm going to add one more layer of leaves i'm going to select some green let me make this bigger and just want this to be a little more colorful And that's it. That brings us to the end of this tutorial. And um, this is basically how you can create this raspberries in watercolor, which gives you this vibe of a watercolor painting. Once you're done, you can click on share here and uh, a quick export and then you can get a snapshot or you can click on this and you have different options to export it as different things. By the way, if you want to know how to get more brushes into your Fresco app, just go ahead and look at my older video, which I'll link it here in the card or in the description where you can actually get a lot of different brushes, all these things for absolutely free from Adobe website. I'll try to make more of Fresco videos because I'm kind of enjoying this. Although I work a lot with Procreate, but um, this has its own benefits as well, especially with these live brushes. It's so much fun to watch colors mix so thank you for watching and i do hope you like this video if you did please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also you know turn on that bell notification uh, i guess i'll see you in the next video then Bye bye